All right, so let's look at solving differential equations using uh, separation of variables. All right, so to solve a differential equation using separation of variables, I want to be able to write my differential equation in one of these forms here. Okay, and basically what this is doing, it's letting me get the uh, the y terms with the dy and the x terms with the dx. See this m of x, that's a function in terms of x and the ny is in terms of y. So I can get all my y terms with my dy and all my x, x terms with my dx. Alright, so let's take a look at an example. And so here I have uh, dy dx is equal to x squared over y squared. So to solve this, okay, remember I want to get my y terms with my dy and my x terms with my dx. Alright, so first thing, this y squared to get it up here, I can multiply both sides by y squared. Okay, and that's going to leave me with y squared dy dx equals, and then you can see here the y squareds cancel, and I'm left with x squared. And now to get the dx over here, I'll multiply both sides. Let me change colors there. I'll multiply both sides by dx and so you can see the dx is cancel and I'm left with y squared dy equals x squared dx okay and this is and this is what you want the y terms with the dy the x terms with the dx all right so now to solve this all I'm going to do is integrate both sides. Okay, so these these integrations are are easy. You should know how to do this. So if I integrate the left hand side, I'll get one third y cubed. And remember, when you integrate, it's plus, and we'll call it c one. Okay, and uh, or let's just call it, let's call it C. And that equals one third X cubed plus, and let's just call this uh, another constant term. Let's just say, we'll call it D. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. All right, now looking at this, C and D are just arbitrary constants. Okay. Now look what happens if I subtract C to both sides. Okay. The C's go out here and then I get D minus C. Okay. Well what's D minus C? Well it's just another arbitrary constant. And I have an arbitrary constant minus another arbitrary constant. So that's just going to give me another arbitrary constant. So what I'm, what I'm going to do instead of the plus C over here and the plus D over here, I'm not going to add the, the C over here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, OK, when I integrate this side, I'm just going to say plus, and I'll call that C1. Okay, because and why didn't I call it C instead of C? Uh, why didn't I call it C? Well, you could, but what we want to do when we have our final answer, we want we would like the C in our final answer. Okay, just the letter C. And what's going to happen when I solve this thing here? See, I've already done my integration. So once I solve this for uh, y, well, I may have to 
you know rewrite this constant okay and just remember this is an arbitrary constant so so let me show you what I'm talking about all right so I hope that made sense while we're not adding a C over here okay just, just what I showed you here when we subtract it to both sides we just get another arbitrary constant so we just call that the C1 is like this uh, when I had that D minus C okay that's my C1 alright so now to solve this I'm gonna multiply both sides by 3 that's gonna get rid of the fractions for me so I get Y cubed equals X cubed plus 3C1 okay and so Y is equal to the cube root of X cubed plus 3 well, I said 3 and wrote a C plus 3C1 okay alright so that's going to give me y equals the cube root of x cubed plus. Now, take a look at this 3c1. Okay, 3c1. That's just an that's just a constant term. It's an arbitrary constant. Okay, I have three times an arbitrary constant, which is just going to give me another arbitrary constant, and I'll call that c. And this will be my final answer. Okay, see, I don't have to manipulate the constant term anymore. Okay, I've solved for y, and I when I, after I solved for y, you can see I ended up with this, and so now I'm just going to say, okay, c is three c one. And you know we don't know what C is, okay? But this this right here, this cube root of x cubed plus C, satisfies this differential equation here. Okay. All right. So I hope that this video's helped, and you know. When, when you're solving these, these using separation of variables, that that's going to be the main thing. Is you know the integration should be easy for you because you've learned all your integration techniques. Uh, the main thing is going to be rewriting this constant term. Okay, dealing with that constant term. All right, so I hope you'll check out my other videos. I'm going to do some more videos with uh, separation of variables. Uh, Hope you'll check those out. All right, thanks.